So finally, they called and asked us when they were like 11. Mm -hmm. so, I got my back to the action. I'm the only one. So we have to rotate a little bit. <laughs> Look at this guy's house. Yesterday I went to the theater meeting at this lady's house. First we had like a little schmoozing get together with food and then we had a meeting and they were deciding upon the plays and the, the two comedy plays and a musical for next season, the 50, no, 60th season. 50th? I don't know, it's a big one. But anyway, um, the two comedy plays that we will be doing are My Three Angels and See How They Run. And the musical that we will be doing is called Bells Are Ringing. It's from the 1950s and the movie started Judy Holiday. So I'm excited for that because there are a lot of chorus parts for someone like me. You know, I don't really sing that well, but in a chorus, in an ensemble, you know, a party scene or whatever, I can do it. I don't really dance, but there's really no dancing in it. So, yeah. Then what? <laughs> the guy that's directing the play they're going to be doing next, Odd Couple, uh, needs an assistant director. His assistant director dropped out, and I said I would be interested. Now, I don't know if the guy will be considering me or not, but I'd like to know how to direct. I'm sure it's really, really hard, but I'd still like to know. So that was the party. Been trying to get a few things done around here, and I don't seem to get a whole lot done. I get waylaid and sidetracked all the time, but that's me. I have to figure out the suitcase situation, the packing, the want to clean the rugs around here, and get more stuff done. When I talked to Brian yesterday, he said, Mom, have you seen that last Star Wars movie? I said, the one with BB-8? Yeah. No, he goes, um, you might want to see it. So I know what we're going to do. We're going to go see the new Star Wars movie. So at the library, they had the one with uh, The Force Awakens, I think it's called. And I was, ta I was getting checked out, and the girl said, did you see the one before that? And I said, no. She goes, oh, you got to see that one, too. Said, okay. So uh, I checked both of those out, the Rogue one or whatever. Rogue One basically t gives you an introduction to a couple different characters that you might need to know along the way and also the Death Star and how and why and all that stuff. Which in my opinion they could have told me in 10 minutes but uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like the acting, I didn't like the directing, the writing, I don't know, I just didn't like it for some reason. I just, it didn't, it just wasn't right. Especially toward the end, C-3PO and R2-D2 are standing in like a cave looking out at some fighting going on. I was like half paying attention. But C-3PO made some comment that was supposed to be some snide, cutesy comment, I guess. I didn't like it. He used incorrect grammar. And I thought, what self-respecting nerd would put up with this? This is ridiculous. It was awful. It just ruined it. Yeah. And then the other one, the awakening thing with where you get to know BB-8 and all that. It had Han Solo and Princess Leia or Empress Leia or whatever she is by now. That was much better. That one was directed by J.J. Abrams. I don't know if the Rogue one was or not. But this one had better writing. Yeah, they stuck a lot of taglines in there. You know, I got a bad feeling about this and stuff like that. But I enjoyed it much better. Much, much better. It was more together. So if this next movie that's coming out is as together as that one, I will enjoy it.
a lot. We'll find out, I guess. Anyway, Brian, when talking to Brian, <laughs> I was kind of more or less informed that it'd be great if I were mute the whole time there. <laughs> yes, I have a tendency to just say stuff. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to be a Stepford mom. Not a Stepford wife, but a Stepford mom, you know. Yes, isn't that nice, honey? Yes. Okay. Would you like some cookies? And nothing else is going to try to come out of this mouth. I will have to bite my tongue and inside of my mouth so that I don't say anything. And I'll have to be careful because I... I make faces too. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. I'm really tickled and I'm already sad because it's a short period of time and I wish it was longer and but I'm happy that it's any time at all really I have to arrange the mail to be stopped and arrange for a taxi which I've never had to do before so that's gonna be strange you can do it online and I had to ask people how do you take a taxi and you know and you look online how do you take a taxi and it's like, how do you hail a taxi in New York well I don't I'm not in New York and I don't need to hail a taxi I can arrange for one online but how do you pay when do you pay and all that and I think they need to know if you have suitcases and how many or how big so that I have to figure out as well so the cleaning of the rugs and the gathering of the clothes and all that stuff will be happening tomorrow. I want to be ready ahead of time. And then I need to do my filming for the collaboration, for the Christmas collaboration, which I am thrilled to death to do. I love to do it. It will be Anita Mandicus again for YouTube e News. And someone else asked me if I would do something for their vlog, but I haven't received anything further. But uh, I'd be tickled to do so. And uh, what else was I doing today? While I was watching the movie, I was fiddling around. I like doing stuff while I'm watching the movie. Although, The Force Awakens, I had to pay a lot of attention. So I couldn't really do this. What did I do? Well, I made Christmas ornaments for the boys. I was going to buy one for Scott and Marley because they always get one from the, the St. Louis Zoo every year, but they're like $16 and they're fragile and I thought it won't make it. It won't make it to California and then it certainly won't make it back to Canada. So, And it's $16. So what did I do? I took a 2x2 two two piece of lumber and I cut it into 4 inch pieces and I painted it up and I made TARDIS made a TARDIS for each kid. <laughs> yeah, I like doing stuff like that. Yeah, well, I have talked way long enough, so I will let you go. This week is full of just doing stuff. Just doing stuff? Yeah, I guess so. I'll put it on my...